Hello all. A very good day to all of you. In this session, we will discuss all the questions that have come from analog circuits in 2017 guide examination for instrumentation engineering branch. Okay. So in 2017, right, there are many questions from this subject for uh, instrumentation engineering branch. So there are actually ten questions, right? Three are of one mark, and two are of and seven are of two marks. Okay, so in total, seventeen marks have been asked from this subject in the twenty seventeen. Okay, so it's a uh, battery is huge. So let us solve all the question one by one. The first question is one mark. Okay, the differential amplifier shown in the figure, right? Hey, J. Differential gain of AD is equal to hundred, right? And common mode gain AC of zero point one, right? If V one is equal to five point zero one volt and V two is equal to five volt, then we have to find out V zero, right? So given V one is equal to five point zero one volt, V two is equal to five volt. We know the output of the op amp is equal to the common mode gain into the common mode voltage plus differential gain into the differential voltage. Right. So the output consisting of two terms. First term is because of the common mode input. Second term is because of differential input. Okay. And we know an ideal Amplifier, the common mode gain should be very very small, and the differential gain should be very very high. Okay, so what is the common mode voltage? VCM equal to V1 plus V2 by 2. Here, what is V1? V1 is 5.01 plus 5 divided by 2. Okay, so what is how much? This is 5.005, right? 5.01. Point zero one plus five divided by two. Five point zero zero five. Okay. What is V differential? V differential is equal to V one minus V two equal to five point zero one minus five volt is equal to zero point zero one. Okay. So then 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 how to what is the output? The output is equal to SCM into VCM. What is SCM? SCM is given. 0.1, 0.1 into what is VCM? VCM is 5.005 plus a differential is given 100, 100 into V differential is we we got 0.01, 0.01. Let us calculate the voltage equal to 0.1 into 5.005 plus 100. Into zero point zero one. So we got one point five zero zero five. It means okay. So it's a very simple question. Only thing you have to understand is the output in op amp is consisting of two terms. One is because of common mode gain, another is because of Differential gain. Okay, so let us see the next question. <coughs> in this silicon diode, right? So in the figure, there is a barrier potential of zero point seven. So the meaning of barrier potential potential is if the voltage in the diode nothing but V N O minus V cathode cathode greater than zero point seven volt. Then it will flood wise, right? There will be no flood current flow to the diode if VDC is greater than what? Okay. So in other words, what is it telling? What is the VDC voltage that will make my flood current to zero? In other words, that will make my diode to reverse wise, right? We know the current in diode. Okay. 
is approximately zero when the diode is reverse bias. Okay, so we have to find out the DC voltage VDC at which my diode will be reverse bias. That will make my forward current to zero. Right. So for that, you know, the voltage across the diode, right, is how much anode V anode is connected to two volt. V cathode is connected to VDC by two. Right. In order to the diode to get reverse bias, I1 V anode minus V cathode should be less than 0 0.7. Right. Then my diode will be reverse bias and ID will be zero. So V anode is two volt minus VDC by two will less than equal to 0 0.7 volt. This implies VDC by two should be greater than equal to two minus 0 0.7 is equal to 1.3, right? So this implies VDC should be greater than 2.6 volt, right? So 2.6 volt is the answer. Only thing you have to understand here is this is the condition that will make my diode reverse bias and my third current will become zero, right? Let us see the next question. The output V0 shown in the figure in board is close to what? Okay. You can see the some part of my output is getting fed to the negative terminal. So the upper arm is operating in negative feedback, right? <coughs> Whenever upper arm is operating in negative feedback, it obeys a principle called virtual ground, right? Okay. But it says the voltage at the positive terminal will be equal to voltage at the negative terminal, right? When a op arm is operating in negative feedback, right? So according to this, the voltage voltage at positive terminal is equal to zero, is equal to V negative, right? Now let us apply a nodal equation at this point, right? V negative. So V negative minus 10 volt divided by 1k plus V negative minus V0 by 2k is equal to 0. Okay. So we know V negative is equal to 0. 0 minus 10 divided by 1k plus 0 minus V0 by 2k is equal to 0. Right. Simple as V0 is equal to right, minus. 2k by 1k is 2, 2 into 10 is equal to minus 20 volt, right? But you see, my supply is limited to minus 15, right? So this output cannot go beyond minus 15, right? So what will happen? My output will saturate to minus 15, right? Because if whenever my output will go come more than minus 15, it will saturate to minus 15, right? Since it comes minus 20, right? Definitely, my output will get saturated to minus 15. So the answer should be minus 15, right? So, you know, in a hurry, you get the answer quickly and put minus 20, you are gone. Okay. So always, uh, whenever you get a very straight answer, right, in exam, just be cautious and think a little bit, okay, why this question is given, right? So the answer should be B. So whenever you get an answer, very straightforward, just Pause, think a little, then answer. Okay. So let us see the next question. This is two mark question, right? Assuming the op arms in the figure to be ideal, right? The ideal means the gain of the op arm is equal to infinity, bandwidth equal to infinity, the input resistance is equal to infinity, and the output resistance is equal to zero. Right? This is the ideal op arm. Right. And the frequency at which the magnitude of V0 will be 90% of my magnitude of V in. Okay. So this thing we have to solve. <coughs> so uh, how to solve? Okay. 
फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट थिंग इज लेट्स कैलकुलेट वट इज द वोल्टेज हियर बी पॉजिटिव राइट और एम इज फर्स्ट स्टेप इज कैलकुलेट वट इज बी पॉजिटिव ओके सो विल सॉल्व इट इन एस डोमेन राइट सपोज द कैपेट इज सी एंड द एम्पिडेंस अफोर्ड बाय दिस कैपेटर विल बी वन बाय एस सी राइट एंड दिस इज सपोज टेस्ट आर ओके सो वट इज बी पॉजिटिव v positive will be equal to v in okay, i am solving in s domain right into the impedance here is 1 by sc because since it is ideal open it is having infinity input impedance there is no current flowing through this positive terminal right so v in into 1 by sc divided by r plus 1 by sc here r is equal to 10k and c is equal to 10 nano right so this in place if so v in okay by 1 plus if sc will come here s c r right right so this is equal to so you know sc equal to j into omega right so v in by One plus j omega into R C, right? So let us see the for the next question. Okay, see the next slide. So V in V cross is equal to V positive is equal to V in into one plus j into two pi imp into R C, right? So equal to V in into one plus J F by. I can re rewrite this term is into one by two pi R C, right? So this this I can say is a cutoff frequency, right? So is equal to V in by one plus J into J into F by F C. Okay, so here F C I is equal to one by two pi R C. Okay, this I have taken. Okay, this is just common culture. Okay, this is my P positive. Okay, now what is B output? So for calculating B output, we know we know since some part of my output is getting fitted. to the negative terminal it is operating in what negative feedback so it obeys a principle called virtual ground v positive is equal to v negative okay so let us do a nodal equation at this point okay first point is v positive is equal to v negative because of virtual ground okay now we will put a nodal equation here v negative By one k plus v negative minus v zero by one k is equal to zero. The simplest one k will go to other side. Two v negative is equal to v zero. The simplest v zero is equal to two into v negative. V negative is equal to v positive. Okay, so equal to v negative is equal to v positive. V equal to two into. What is v positive? V positive is nothing but V in by one plus j, okay, j into frequency by cut off frequency, right? So then, what is asking? It is asking at what frequency my output will be ninety five percent of the input, okay? So what is the magnitude of output now? The out. So let us do here. The out. Magnitude is equal to okay two b two b divided by right two to of one plus f by f zero whole square right whenever there is a complex term the magnitude is equal to a plus j b of magnitude is equal to a square plus b square right so this is the magnitude of the b out okay so b out magnitude equal to two b 
divided by how much? One plus one plus f by f c zero full square. Okay. So what it is given? We that the frequency frequency f at two h my output will become ninety five percent of the bean. Okay. So this implies my output will become ninety five percent of bean. Okay. Which equal to two bean. Divided by root over of one plus f by f zero whole square. B in bit get cancel. Okay, this implies root over of one plus f by f c the whole square is equal to right. I have taken this this set. I have to multiply two by zero point nine five. Zero point nine five. Which equal to how much? Two point one zero five. Okay. Now one plus f by f c zero whole square is equal to answer square is equal to four point four three two. This implies f by f c zero whole square is equal to three point four three two. This implies f is equal to f c into root over of three point four three two equal to root over of three point root over of three point four three two one point eight five. Okay, so one point eight five into f c. Okay, is equal to One point eight five. What is FC? FC is equal to one by two pi RC. Okay, one by two pi. What is R? R is ten k, right? Ten k into what is C? C is equal to ten nano. Okay, let us calculate now. What is the frequency at which my output will become ninety five percent of the input? Okay, so let us calculate now. So equal to one point eight five. Divided by two into pi into ten into the power of three into ten into the power of four minus nine. So I got two nine four four point three six hertz. Okay. Hertz. Okay. So frequency in kilohertz. Okay, that means it will be two point nine kilohertz. Two point nine kilohertz is the answer. Two point nine four. You can say precisely. Two point nine four kilohertz is the answer. Okay, so it's a very easy question. What you have to do? First thing is express V plus in terms of V in. This is the expression. Then I know it is simply a non-inverting amplifier. Output will be equal to two times my B positive. Two times the input is B positive is this much. Then you have to calculate the magnitude of the output. Then you have to put the condition. The output is equal to ninety-five percent of input. It will give you the answer frequency at what frequency the output will become ninety-five percent of my input. Okay. Let us see the next question. Two more question, right? In the circuit shown in the figure, the MOSFET is operating in saturation region. Okay. The characteristic of the MOSFET is given by ID is equal to half VGS minus one row whole square. Okay. Where VGS is the in volt and VCS is five volt. Right. What is the value of R S? Okay. It's a very easy question. Right. So first thing is we'll calculate I D. Right. If you calculate I D, right, we know B S. Then R S will be B S by I D. Right. If you calculate I D, the I D is going like this. Same I D is going to the source also. Right. So if I calculate I D, then B D by I D is the resistance R S. Clear. So what is I D? 
ID is equal to given half gs minus 1 row whole square. Okay, is equal to half. What is vg? Vgs. Vg is equal to so is equal to vg minus vs minus 1 row whole square. Okay, half. What is vg? Vg is nothing but 15 into 7k by 8 plus 15. So it is equal to 15 into 7 mega divided by 8 mega plus 7 mega right this simple reverse simply a register divided is a vg this, this point is simply a register divider minus what is vs vs is 5 volt given minus 1 equal to square equal to half this is 15 by 15 will get, 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 get cancelled so i'll get 7 minus 5 minus 1 the whole square right equal to 7 minus 6 in whole square is equal to half mpa right this is my id now what is rs rs is equal to vs by the current id okay this is given how much 5 volt divided by id is half mpa so we got 5 bit is equal to 10 ohm right so the rs have to be 10 ohm right in order to make my vs 5 volt okay simple easy question two marks and you have to put id this equation okay let's see the next question the two input voltage multiplier okay in the figure two input voltage multiplier in the figure has a scaling factor of one right scaling factor one means the output will be equal to simply equal to two input multiplication right if, if there is a scaling factor of five it, it will be five times the multiplication of the two inputs right since its scaling factor will be one so my output here will be simply the multiplication number two will be equal to v2 into v0 right if v1 is equal to 15 v2 is equal to 3 volt and the value of v0 okay so we will calculate the value of v0 you see this is a multiplication multiplier of scaling factor 1 so my output will be equal to v2 into v0 right two inputs again you can see there is a feedback from output to the negative terminal right so it obeys a principle called virtual ground clear because of virtual ground v positive equal to v negative here v positive is equal to zero so it is equal to zero volt right now if i apply a nodal equation at the negative potential negative from terminal nodal at negative terminal okay. this is voltage is zero right zero minus v1 plus zero minus this voltage is nothing but v2 into v0 v0 by r by r right equal to zero so this current is zero minus v1 by r this current is zero minus v2 by v0 into r equal to zero this implies minus v2 into v0 by r equal to v1 by r r r r get cancel v0 is equal to minus v1 by v2 but minus what is v1 v1 is given 15 volt divided by v2 is 3 volt v is equal to minus 5 volt okay so the output in this here is minus 5 volt okay so it's a very easy question right just the thing is the multiplier output is v2 into v0 then we put a nodal equation here we will calculate the we will calculate the voltage v0 in terms of v1 and v2 okay this is a very easy question the circuit shown in the figure right is a smith trigger the genuine diode combinations maintains output of plus 7 or minus 7 right what is the width of the hysteresis band okay so thing is this is a smith trigger right what is a smith trigger we will understand that first and foremost thing okay 
सपोज एट द स्विच ऑन ओके सपोज एट द स्विच ऑन मे आउटपुट हियर इज पॉजिटिव सैचुरेशन सो दिस आउटपुट विल बिकम प्लस सेवन राइट बिकॉज सपोज एट द स्विच ऑन आई डोंट नो द आउटपुट सपोज एज्यूम दैट द आउटपुट वी जीरो इज इक्वल टू प्लस सेवन वोल्ट सपोज ओके इफ मे आउटपुट इज प्लस सेवन वोल्ट हियर राइट देन वट इज द इनपुट ओके दैट विल स्विच माई स्टेट फ्रॉम प्लस सेवन टू माइनस सेवन दैट इज डिसाइड दैट विल दैट विल डिटरमाइन माई अपर थ्रेस होल्ड पॉइंट ओके सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट भी यू टी पी ओके वट इज भी यू टी पी वट इज द इनपुट द इनपुट भी आई एट टू विच वी आउटपुट विल स्विच फ्रॉम फ्रॉम प्लस सेवन टू माइनस सेवन गोल्ड ओके सो हाउ टू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दैट यू सी This is like a simply comparator, right? For changing my output to plus seven to minus seven, what you have to do? My V negative should be more than V positive, right? This is the condition to switch my output to minus seven from plus seven, right? Whenever V negative is more, then my output will be negative. Whenever V positive is more, the output will be positive in a comparator, right? Then now what is V positive? So This B positive here is this is B positive, right? Let's put a nodal equation here. B positive at this node, right? For this node is positive node. Okay, here we will put nodal equation. B positive minus B zero minus B zero divided by ten k plus B positive minus two volt divided by zero point five k is equal to zero. This implies V positive minus seven volt here the output by ten k plus V positive minus two by zero point five k is equal to zero. Okay. Now what do you have to do? Simple as let us uh, what do you have to do? Uh, below it, we multiply ten both side. Right, so will ten k will multiply will be so multiply both side by ten. Right, ten k to both side. Okay, so this is plus this is minus seven plus k k get cancel ten into zero twenty right ten by zero point five is twenty right into b positive minus two equal to zero. Okay, the simplest, simplest, b positive minus seven, b positive minus seven, plus twenty v positive minus forty, plus twenty v positive minus forty, equal to zero. Okay, simplest, three, twenty three, twenty three v positive. Positive is equal to forty-seven, right? Twenty-three be positive is twenty-one be positive is equal to twenty-one be positive is equal to forty-seven, right? So the simplest be positive is equal to forty-seven by twenty-one equal to how much? Forty-seven divided by twenty-one equal to two point two three. Okay, so. According to the current condition, if my B negative will be greater than B positive, if my B negative means B in here, B negative greater than B positive, to switch my output from plus seven to output will switch from plus seven to minus seven. Okay, so here B negative is nothing but B input, B input. 
would be greater than or equal to d positive is 2.23 right to switch my output from plus 7 to minus 7 okay so this is the b u to b upper threshold point okay now so let me if i want to draw a diagram right So this is my V output, this is my D input. V output, this is V input. My output will be initially high, 7 volt. Okay. Then my V input cursor 2.3, right? This is about 2.3, 2.23. What will happen to my V, v, v output? It will change to minus 7. Will go to minus seven. Okay. If my pain input will be again if even more, it will just stay at minus seven. Because as long as my pain put is greater than two point three, it will be stay at same minus seven. Right. So now my output is staying at minus seven. Right. They go on increasing my input. Okay. If presently now my V output is equal to minus 7 right so you took now what is the input voltage right what is the input voltage that will change my state from minus 7 to plus 7 that you have to calculate so now what is vi to switch my v output Minus seven to to plus seven, right? So when my output will go from minus seven to plus seven, that will happen. Then when my V positive will be equal greater than V negative, right? So here V negative is nothing but V I, right? V I. Okay. So when and v positive greater than v i then at that point my output can switch from minus 7 to plus 7 it, it is staying at minus 7 only when my v input will be less than v positive then it will at, at that point it will switch the state when it will happen so now calculate v negative v negative is equal to so you see this is the minus 7 now okay so at the point it want to switch in V positive is this one. Okay. Should be greater than V negative. Okay. First to calculate V positive. What is V positive here? V positive is this one. Okay. Put a nodal equation. V positive minus the output is minus 7 now. Right. Divided by 10k plus V positive minus 2 divided by 0 0.5k is equal to 0. Right. Same price. V positive plus 7 plus multiply by 10k both side so multiply both side by 10k now okay v positive v positive plus 7 plus if you multiply by 10 k k get cancel 10 by 0 10 by 0 0.5 is 20 so 20 v positive plus 20 into minus 2 is minus 40 equal to 0 okay same simple as 7v positive 21v positive is equal to 40 minus 7 right okay so now so now see v positive v positive minus minus 7 is by 10k v positive minus 2 by 0 0.5k right that's right so i multiply both side by 10 20 plus 40 that's right okay so 40 minus 7 this implies what is v positive v positive is equal to 40 minus 7 is 40 minus 7 is 33 by 21 equal to 21 1.57 
ओके सो प्रेजेंटली मैं भी पॉजिटिव इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन ओके वेन मैं आउटपुट स्विच इट टू माइनस सेवन वेन मैं आउटपुट स्विच इट टू माइनस सेवन राइट एट दैट पॉइंट माई भी पॉजिटिव विल बी भी पॉजिटिव इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन ओके फॉर द कंडीशन फॉर स्विचिंग माई आउटपुट फॉर माइनस सेवन टू प्लस सेवन मैं भी जी पॉजिटिव शुड बी भी पॉजिटिव शुड बी ग्रेटर देन मैं भी इनपुट ओके भी पॉजिटिव शुड बी ग्रेटर देन भी आई फॉर चेंजिंग माई आउटपुट टू माइनस सेवन टू प्लस सेवन राइट सो भी पॉजिटिव इज वन पॉइंट सेवन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन भी नेगेटिव भी नेगेटिव भी इनपुट ये सो भी आई शुड बी लेस देन वन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन राइट देन ओनली मैं आउटपुट विल स्विच फ्रॉम माइनस सेवन टू प्लस सेवन सो मिल्स पुट इट नाउ सो इन दिस लड़ा चेंज में कलर ओके मैं भी इन विल बी इफ मैं भी इन इज ग्रेटर देन टू टू पॉइंट टू थ्री मैं आउटपुट विल स्टे एट माइनस सेवन नाउ इफ आई गो input okay if i go to 1.57 right they go to 1.57 so this is 1.57 okay suppose this point is 1.57 then if i go on decreasing my input if it if it is little less than 1.57 right my output will switch from minus 7 to plus 7 and it will switch from minus 7 to plus 7 and it will stay at there until and the input is smaller than 1.57 okay again if i go on increasing right if my b input greater than 2.23 again it will go to minus 7 okay so this is my hysteresis loop hysteresis bit right this is b ltp this is utp right so let me explain you one more time once my output at is at plus 7 if my input will be greater than 2.23 it will switch from plus 7 to minus 7 and it, it will stay at minus 7 if you increase the input voltage now if you go on decreasing my input voltage once my input voltage will be less than 1.57 it will switch from minus 7 to plus 7 and it will stay at plus 7 right so this is the hysteresis again if you want to change to Plus one to minus seven again. My input have to be greater than two point two three. Okay, this is the hysteresis loop. So what is asking in the question is what is the hysteresis band? Okay, band means width. Okay, width is how much? V U T P minus V L T P. Okay, V U T P two point two three. V L T P is one point five seven. So what the width will be? U T P is two point two three minus one point five seven is the L T P, right? U T P two point two three. One point five seven is LTP. We call it how much? Two point two three minus one point five seven. We call zero point six six four. Zero point six six four is the answer. Okay. So this is a easy question, but we have to solve a bit. Okay. First thing is when output is at plus seven, we have to find out. We have to find the input at which it will change from plus seven to minus seven. That voltage is nothing but two point two three. Again, when my output is minus seven, we have to find the input at which my output will switch from minus seven to plus seven. That 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 input is less than one point five seven. Okay, if you know this 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 two, then it will give him my hysteresis bit. Okay, let us see the next question. Change my color. The resistance a resistance temperature detector RTD. Okay, is connected to a circuit. Okay, so in the figure, okay, assume that op amp to be ideal. Right, already I, I explained you what is the ideal op amp. Okay, and V zero is plus two volt, and the value of V x will be. Okay, this is the point here. Okay, V negative. So, 
we know since there is a negative feedback from V output to the inverting terminal, right? So it obeys a principle called virtual ground. Okay. So equivalent to virtual ground, right? V positive equal to V negative. Here V positive is grounded at zero volt. So V negative is equal to zero volt. Okay. Now with this information, we have to put a nodal equation at this negative terminal. Okay. Put nodal at negative terminal. Okay. So if I put the current through this is 0 minus 12, 0 minus 12 divided by R into 1 plus X. Okay. My aim is to find out the X. Okay. So to find the X, if my output is 2 volt, this is the, this is the requirement. Uh, find the value of X at which my output will become 2 volt. Okay. So this current is 0 minus 12 by R, R into 1 plus X plus this current is 0 minus 12 by 0 minus minus 12. Right? Divided by R plus this current, this current is 0 minus 0 by R equal to 0. Okay? Simple as V0 by R is equal to minus 12 by R into 1 plus X plus 12 by R Okay, now R, R, R got cancelled. Okay, see plus, what is V0? V0 is given 2 volt. 2 volt is equal to minus 12 by 1 plus X. Right, plus 12. Right, then multiply both side by 1 plus X. What do you get? 2 into 1 plus X is equal to minus 12 plus 12 into 1 plus x. Plus x. Okay. Then this will give me my x, right? This will give me my x. So here, okay, fine. So now 2 plus 2x. This implies 2 plus 2x is equal to how much given? Minus 12 plus 12 plus 2x. So minus 12 plus 12 plus 12x. Right? Minus 12 plus 12 plus 12x. So this two what cancel? So this implies right? 2x minus 12, 2x is 10x. 10 is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 by 10 is equal to 0 0.2. Okay. So, x should be equal to how much? 0 0.2. So the circuit looks a little complicated, but it's easy one. Just to have to put one nodal equation at the negative terminal, then it will give me my x. Okay. So, initially, see, looking at the question, don't uh, think how to find x, uh, rr, rr unknown. Okay. This, so, uh, whenever you see a new question, right? There is two unknown here. R is unknown and X is unknown. Okay. It is finding value of, you have to find the value of X, but there is only one equation. Okay. So first start putting the equation that you know. Okay. Then you can know that R is getting cancelled. Initially, you may not, might not understand that R, 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 R may get, how to get R and X, both are unknown. Okay. But whatever you know, you just put in paper. Then you will get a way how to get the answer. Okay. Don't think and just everything, whatever you know, you put in paper. Then definitely you'll get away. Okay. So don't think and spend time how to do, how to do. Don't think. Whatever you know, just put in paper. That is a trick. Okay. So let's see the next question. The junction semiconductor temperature sensor. Okay. Junction semiconductor temperature sensor shown in the figure is used to measure the temperature of hot air. Right. In this here, it is usually a semiconductor sensor right, to measure the temperature. The output voltage here is, is given already 2.1 volt. 1 volt. Okay. 
the current output of the sensor is given by 1 is equal to t microampere. Okay. Ha, huh. one equal to t microampere. So then we have to so the current given by I is equal to right, t microampere. Okay. I is given is equal to t microampere, right? Where t is in Kelvin. Okay. Assuming the op pump to be ideal, we already talked about ideal op pump, right? The temperature of hot air is okay. So in this, what it is given? When my output measured equal to two point one volt, at that point, what is the temperature of the sensor? Means what is the temperature that the sensor is measured? Okay. So condition is my output. When my output is two point one volt, at that point, what is the temperature measured by my sensor? Okay. This is the given question given. Okay. So first thing is. If I can know the current I, right? From current I, I can easily know my temperature, right? Because my current I is directly related to temperature. Okay. So in this question, the aim is to find the current I at two h. My output will become two point one volt. Okay. So it's an easy question, like you know, looks little difficult, but you see, finally it is asking me to calculate I. If I know I, I can easily calculate temperature T, right? So output V zero is given two point one. Okay, and since here you know it is operating in negative feedback, right? Output is getting fed to the negative terminal, so it is obviously a principle called virtual ground. So V positive is equal to V negative. What is virtual ground? The voltage at positive is equal to voltage voltage at negative. Okay, now since output is two point one volt, let us calculate V negative. Let us put a nodal equation at negative terminal. Nodal At negative terminal, right? V negative by one k plus V negative minus V zero by two k equal to zero. Okay, this implies V negative, right? K get cancel. V negative plus V negative by two is equal to V zero by Two, right? Zero by two. So V zero is equal to two V negative plus V negative is equal to three V negative. Okay. The same place V negative is equal to V zero by three. Okay. What is V zero? V zero given two point one by three. Okay. So it is equal to zero point seven volt here. I got zero point. Seven volt here, right? Now, what is V positive? V positive is equal to V negative, also equal to zero point seven volt here. Okay, so we got V negative is zero point seven. V positive also should be zero point seven volt. Okay, now let us put a nodal at V positive. Let us put a nodal at at V positive terminal. Okay, the current coming in, so it should be minus I. Plus V positive by two k equal to zero. This implies I is equal to V positive by two k. V positive is nothing but zero point seven by two k. How much is coming? Zero point seven divided by two thousand. Two k is two thousand, right? Two thousand. So I got three point five into ten power of minus four. Ampere. Let us express in microampere equal to 3.5 into 100 into into minus 6 ampere. Okay, is equal to 350, right? 350 microampere. Okay, 350 microampere. So I is equal to 350 microampere. Okay, but is given I equal to microampere. So is equal to T. Microampere. So the same place, T is equal to in Kelvin, right? T is equal to three fifty Kelvin. Okay, because I is equal to T microampere. I got three fifty microampere. T is equal to three fifty, and T is expressed in Kelvin, so it's Kelvin. Now 
you have to find out the temperature of the hot air in degree celsius okay so in degree celsius is equal to t is equal to 350 minus 273 degree celsius right because we know 0 degree celsius equal to 273 kelvin this is the equation we know and this much degree means you have to subtract by 273 okay so what is the answer 350 minus 273 equal to 77 77 degree celsius okay so the answer is 77 degree celsius okay so it's a easy question we have to find out the current i if i can know i i can know t then i will express t in degree celsius from kelvin here i have expressed in terms of degree celsius okay so this is the easy question let us see the next question i think that's all so thank you guys